Step two has a lot to do with success with fish disease cases as well. Do you ever wonder why people ride on vomit cycles like that? Just as noisy as they can be for no reason. Anyway, sorry. Never really understood that. Did you know that the Harley Davidson made that much noise because it was a poorly engineered motorcycle? And it made a lot of noise because it had a problem with misfire inside the engine. But people fell in love with it because they liked that large and in charge sound. And so Harley had to engineer a way with a well running engine, had to engineer a way to make that sound. Let's get started. The second consideration in a fish disease case is winter stress. It has a lot to do with uh, water temperatures. If you, the fish are uh, in winter stress, which means that they've been without food for a while because it's winter and they're not eating a lot, or the water temperature is very cold, um, that's going to complicate your recovery success chances um, with the fish. If they are currently very cold, their immune system is on hiatus. Uh, the first video before this one talks about handling stress, shutting down the immune system. Well, if they're handled and their stress rate, uh, stress situation is very, very high, and they're in ice cold water for the winter, th this is going to be challenging. You're going to have to be very good to uh, make a big difference to these fish, but we'll get you through it. So. Uh, item number two to check off basically is winter stress and whether or not the fish are experiencing that and if so, some consideration may be possibly to taking a fish and uh, getting it into a slightly warmer environment. Uh, in some cases where the, the facilities are outdoors and they're uh, very, very cold, but you could afford to heat it, um, which you can do with a paint bucket warmer, believe it or not. You just have to be careful not to let the paint bucket warmer fall into the water. But uh, you can warm a uh, small holding facility up, but you really don't want to do that much more than 10 degrees over the course of an entire day. Uh, the fastest I've ever warmed fish up comfortably was a degree per hour. Uh, and that's really, really pushing it. We can do that in a koi herpes virus outbreak where you're trying to uh, wipe out the virus before it wipes out the fish. A degree an hour is okay, but it's really pushing it. Um, winter stress brings up another point related, related to temperature, and that is during the summer, you get the exact opposite effect where water temperatures are very, very warm, and warm water carries very low dissolved oxygen, so these fish during the heat of the summer are oxygen starved at a time of year when if parasites are chewing on their gills or something else is damaging their gills, they're already not carrying a lot of oxygen and then in warm water where the water's not carrying a lot, the fish have a hard time breathing, a real hard time breathing. So temperature kind of comes into it on this second item in a pond crisis, and that is um, winter stress is uh, damaging to the immune system, and cold water is also uh, damaging to the immune system. And uh, the only plus to cold water is it carries a crap ton of uh, dissolved oxygen, so you don't have as much problems with treatments, um, binding up oxygen and that sort of thing. So. Um, the second item then is winter stress and how that complicates the uh, recovery of your fish. What can you do about it? Maybe gentle heating on some fish that you really care about. Let's move on to the third consideration in a pond disease outbreak. 